Hello there, folks. I'm here in Occoquan, Virginia. You can see they've got a number of these fake palms around here, which I'm not much of a fan of, but they do have these tons and tons of windmill palms here, wrapped up and protected. Lots of them and more over here, probably at least a dozen um, around, which is awesome. They planted a ton of windmill palms here. And uh, interesting seeing them protected here because you don't see that too often uh, with the windmill palms wrapped like that. Usually they're unprotected. And a uh, great microclimate down here by the, by the water and uh, just south of the city generally. Nice and warm here. Window palms are probably pretty long term here anyway. But uh, these are some incredible specimens. Wow. And uh, these never need protection here. I thought that was real for a second. That Like fox there. It's fake though. But uh, these these are yucca restrata. Big yucca. Absolutely love them. One of the greatest uh, exotic plant species we can grow here. And uh, you know, they're decently common here. I, again, I always wish they were more common, but there are some spectacular specimens around. Look at these ones, three giant ones. The first one closest to me is probably the tallest, probably about like at least 15 feet. Um, growing in the sand here and uh, by the water. Again, these are such a hardy species. It's kind of remarkable because they're from, I think, New Mexico and West Texas, maybe in New Mexico as well, Northern Mexico. And uh, they're a true desert species. They're not like a prickly pear native to the East Coast. Um, how, you know, how those are not true desert species, obviously plenty of cacti are native to moist, wet climates, but uh, these are a true desert species. So it's fascinating that they do so well in uh, wet climate and also cold, wet climates. These, I've, I've seen them grow all the way up to Southern Ontario, unprotected, completely unprotected. Um, so a very hardy species, fully hardy here, easily hardy in the zone five. Um, in a dry climate, maybe even colder, I don't know. They're very, very hardy. Just love them. Yucca restrata is such a cool species. People often mistake them for palms. They are not palms. They are a yucca, just like the Joshua tree or uh, you know, any other yucca species. And uh, they are, uh, you know, they, they don't put out leaves the same way as palms. They, uh, I actually don't know how their leaves keep putting them out. I guess they just sort of wring them out from the top. But palms send up one frond at a time. These things sort of put out a whole set of leaves uh, at a time. And, uh, I mean, again, a lot of the, of the uh, characteristics are different, but they are mistaken for palms a lot. Uh, you know, there's so many species that are called palms that are not actually a palm. Um, you know, we just call them yucca palms a lot, but they are, in fact, yucca. But I just wanted to share that with you folks. It's very cool to see, and I absolutely love them. I, I would love to get a yucca restrata here. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's some huge ones around, like easy, easily 20 footers. And uh, these ones are, you know, some of the bigger ones I've seen. Um, just beautiful, doing well here by the water. And uh, yeah. I'll come back here in the warm weather to show you guys all the window palms and the unwrap them. I'm really excited about that. So take care folks, have a good one.